Okay, in this video we're going to look at the Laplace transform of a piecewise defined function. So let's just recall that the Laplace transform of a function f is the integral from 0 to infinity of that function f of t times this exponential e to the minus st dt. Okay, good. So now we're going to do this with this uh, piecewise defined function. So we need to find the Laplace transform of f, which will be the integral from 0 to infinity of f of t e to the minus st dt by this definition right here. Now the next thing we want to do is pretty classic when you're doing something involving integrals and piecewise defined functions and that split them up in their various regions. So what we're going to do is split this up into the integral from 0 to 1 plus the integral from 1 to infinity. Okay, great. And now from 0 to 1, f um, has the flavor of t times e to the minus st dt. Well, so f is just t. The rest of it comes from the Laplace transform formula. Good. And then for t bigger than 1, we have t squared e to the minus st dt. Okay, great. And now we're going to do a little bit of a trick. We're going to subtract and add the integral from uh, 0 to 1 of t squared um, e to the minus st. So we're going to do plus, so we'll first, first do minus the integral from 0 to 1 of t squared e to the minus st dt plus the integral from 0 to 1 of t squared e to the minus st dt. Okay, great. Now when we subtract it, we're just going to leave that on. We're going to actually combine these two. So we have the integral from 0 to 1 of t minus t squared e to the minus st dt. Okay, great. And now when we add it, we can combine this integral with this integral because they have the same argument and make it the integral from 0 to infinity of t squared e to the minus st dt. Okay, good. And so now, uh, one last step, we would probably use integration by parts on this thing. So I won't use integration by parts. Again, there are a bunch of videos online, including some that I have done, where uh, we do integration by parts for um, an integral like that. But uh, what I will notice is that this term right here is in fact the Laplace transform of t squared. And again, on a previous video, I calculate the Laplace transform of t squared, and we actually see that this Laplace transform of t squared is 2 over s cubed. Okay, great. And so now in the end, when you add that 2 over s cubed into what you get from doing this integral with integration by parts, you end up with the following. So you end up with 2 e to the minus s plus 1 over s cubed. Good. And then plus e to the minus s plus 1 over s squared plus 2 over s cubed. Um, and that's the end of this video.